to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubt Be free Beloved, we are here assembled in the presence of God and these witnesses to join together this man, Joshua Daniel Everhart, and this woman, Shannon Elizabeth Anderson, in holy marriage, which is blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, governed by God's commandments, 
and is to be held in honor among all. Therefore, it is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but discreetly, thoughtfully, and with reverence for God, who gives this woman to be married. Her mother and I. In Scripture, our Lord teaches that from the beginning God made us male and female and blessed the coming together of husband and wife so that the two should become one, that marriage is therefore a holy relationship, that Christians should be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ, love one another, be faithful to one another, bear one another's weaknesses and limitations, forgive one another, cherish one another in joy and sorrow, Pray for and encourage one another in all things and live together as heirs of the grace of life. Josh, will you have Shannon to be your wife to live together in the holy bond of marriage? Will you love her, honor her, and care for her under all conditions and circumstances of life and through the grace of God be a faithful Christian husband to her so long as you both shall live? If this is your desire, then answer and say, I will. I will. And Shannon, will you have Josh to be your husband, to live together in the holy bond of marriage? Will you love him, honor him, and care for him under all conditions and circumstances of life and be a faithful, and through the grace of God, be a faithful Christian wife to him so long as you both shall live? If this is your desire, then answer and say, I will. I will. Josh and Shannon, it is an honor to be a part of this service this afternoon, and especially as we come to your vows. Josh, as you've already taken Shannon's hands with yours, I ask that you repeat after me. I, Josh. I, Josh. Take you, Shannon. Take you, Shannon. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. And if you'll drop hands, and Shannon, if you'll take Josh's hands with yours and repeat after me. I, Shannon. I, Shannon. Take you, Josh. Take you, Josh. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Now the ring. Josh and Shannon, the rings that you're about to share are beautiful symbols of your commitment to each other and your never-ending love. Josh, take this ring and place it upon Shannon's finger and say, this ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And our abiding love. And Shannon, take this ring and place it upon Josh's finger and say, This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Let us pray. Most merciful and gracious God, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, we thank you for the love with which you bind kindred souls together, especially for the institution of marriage, the tenderness of his ties, the honor of his estate, and the sacredness of his obligations. Lord, look with favor upon these, your servants, Josh and Shannon. Sanctify and bless their union. Grant them grace to fulfill with pure and steadfast affection the vow and covenant made between them this day. Guide them together, we pray, in the way of righteousness and peace, that loving and serving you with one heart and mind all the days of their life, they may be abundantly enriched by your grace. Lord, give them the guidance of your Holy Spirit and teach them to do that which is well-pleasing in your sight. 
And Lord, as we come to you in this time of prayer, we thank you for special groups. Today, I thank you for the Regional Youth Council here in the Southern Province. I thank you, Lord, for special places such as Laurel Ridge and Appalachian State University, places where Josh and Shannon have met, where they began their special relationship, where they have grown in their relationship to the point now that they have come to make their commitment to share their lives together as husband and wife. Thank you, Lord, for the many ways that you have already blessed their lives. And we pray, Lord, your blessings will continue to be upon them. Lord, thank you so much for this very special time that family members and friends can come together. People who have been here to love and support them through the years, may they feel our love and support today for them. More than anything, Lord, may they feel your love and support as well. Lord, it is certainly my prayer, our prayer for them, that their love for each other will grow, that their love for you will also grow, and they will experience all the great and wonderful things we know that you have for their lives and for their marriage. For all these things I pray through Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Josh and Shannon, if I may join you by your right hands. Josh and Shannon, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I now join you together to live within the bonds of holy marriage as husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no one tear apart. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Josh and Shannon, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his love and peace both now and forever. Amen. Well, Josh and Shannon, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Josh, you may kiss your bride. Thank you, Craig. Family and friends, it is my pleasure and honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Josh and Shannon Everhart.
Oh, 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 oh,